um, and we lead in industries such as technology, medical industry, aerospace, and military. Um, as you see by the numbers here, the U.S. still has one of the highest GDPs in the world, but, kind of, but if you look at exports and imports, uh, we're still importing a lot more than we're exporting, which is and, uh, one of the highest debts in the world. Um, so the future of the U.S. economy. Um, as we all know, there's a huge uh, problem in the uh, medical field. Um, there's problems in the banking system, problems with uh, um, in the housing field industry, so these are all problems that the U.S. economy needs to fix if they want to stay on top of the charts. As for the uh, current Afghanistan economy, they've been faced uh, many years of war, and it's affected them a lot more than it's affected the U.S. economy. Um, they're poor, landlocked, and highly dependent on other countries, but and there has been some improvement since the uh, Taliban was taken in. So uh, briefly, how do we start to fix this problem? Uh, you're sti we still need to uh, invest money into Afghanistan. Um, they still rely on international assistance. Uh, we need to, talk, we need to uh, improve agriculture and imp strengthen the government, which we'll talk about later more in detail. Um, you can see the GDP is extremely low compared to the U.S. There. Their uh, imports are way more than their exports, and they are still they still have a huge debt. So, other long-term challenges for Afghanistan that need to be uh, faced. There, as we said earlier, high there's high unemployment. Um, there's still a lot of corruption in Afghanistan right now. Um, all their infrastructure is completely broken down through all the years of war they've had. So we need to work on rebuilding that. And they need us.